Hi, I'm Dr. Cinnamon Sullivan. I'm Dr. Jeremy Collins. We're from Emory University, and we want to show you a containment extubation technique to prevent aerosolization during extubation. What you'll need for this, clamp, scissors, a 50 cc syringe preloaded with about 20 to 30 mils of air, and some benzoin or mastosol. So as you get into a point where extubation is impending, prior to reversing your patient, you want to prepare your mask by putting some benzoin or mastosol around the inner lip, and especially around the connector. This is because as patient secretions could potentially make the cuff slick, you want to be able to have a sticky surface. So you will let the patient, you'll pause the vent, let the patient completely exhale, clamp the tube. Take off the connector, get the pilot cuff through, reconnect, unclamp. As you then go about the, the last few minutes of your case and starting to reverse your patient, one person will be in charge of just holding and securing the tube, making sure it doesn't move, while your colleague will cut the tape off so that it comes through easily the mask and does not stick. So now, as the rest of the, the last few minutes of the case finish, one person is dedicated to holding the tube in place. As your patient meets extubation criteria, your, you and your partner will be there together. I will now go to just holding the mask and your colleague will hold both the tube and the syringe. So as the patient's ready to extubate, deflate the cuff, pull the tube up, and then once you start to get right past the teeth, inflate the cuff with all that air you put in previously. And now you have a patient that's extubated, but you're still sealed, you're holding on, you're connected to the vent, and now you let your patient get uh, the rest of the way awake until you're ready to take this off and put on a regular face mask. Thank you.